everybody, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday afternoon in an extremely overcast, rainy Florida. So I thought I'd come on and do a real quick project share for you guys. I made some altered popsicle sticks and I wanted to show them to you guys. They're for an upcoming swap. But I don't want to glaze over the fact that the past two weeks has been extremely hard on me. So those of you that have reached out, have texted me and sent prayers and love and hugs and well wishes and everything my way, thank you so much. My mom is doing so much better. She is out of the hospital. She had pneumonia and she was treated with an antibiotic and now definitely on the mend and feeling tons better. Thank you so much. Um, fast forward to this past weekend. Um... And we lost Zoe, our 15 and a half year old domestic short haired black cat. And I don't know if you guys remember, she had the white right here, it was a tuxedo. And she would jump up on my counter here wanting to get into my crafts or she would wanna be picked up down here whenever I was here um, doing a video. Mostly she would hear me talking and wanna be a part of it. So I forgot to put the cap on my glue. So, um, I just wanted to, to go ahead and address those two things because those of you that are aware of those things happening have known that this past couple weeks has been extremely difficult and, um, and, and tough. So I wanted to come on and thank you for your prayers and your wishes and to show you what I have done to try to redirect my mind um, into something positive and, and refocus some of my time and energy. Um, I have made some altered popsicle sticks for uh, upcoming swaps. So a couple of things I wanted to go ahead. I will talk you through them and then I want to show you what I, what I mean. All right. This is a Maggie Holmes flower. These are altered popsicle sticks in that they have been spray painted. I went ahead and put two together. And I'm showing you the back because usually when I see people that make embellishments or memory decks cards or ATCs or anything that has anything on it, I'm always like, what does the back look like? What did you do with the back? How did you connect that? Um, I mean, these are my questions, so I figured if I had the questions, then maybe some of you did as well. So the flower here is black and white, and I just put a little green here with a little gold here. If my partner wants to go back and add some different color to this rose to make it her own, then perfect. I went ahead and added thyme, which I have been kind of trying to remember over the past couple weeks. It's so important to have good quality time with your family and your pets and, and whatever's important to you, just have good quality time. And um, I went ahead and used a button at the bottom of this. It's a part of the Maggie ephemera. So this is my first popsicle stick. This is the back. I did leave it um, unaltered and un, I guess that's the word for it, untouched. <laughs> it's painted, but if my um, partner decides that she wants to alter this in some other way or connect this to a page in a journal, then she's free to add some glue here and she doesn't have to work around any other types of materials. She can add the glue, add it in there, and then she has a cute little embellishment. Now my second popsicle stick, I'm gonna talk you through this one a little bit. These are the longer popsicle sticks. And what I have done here, sometimes I'll remember to spray paint them with some primer and then spray paint. And sometimes I forget the primer. So um, anyway, this is the teal and this is another Maggie flower here. And if you have this or are familiar with the Maggie flowers, these actually come with a little bit of gold toward the bottom of them. And I just went and stickled the top a little bit. Can y'all see that? And then added some of this um, fun fishing wire beaded trim. Now I had the pink I had gotten over at Alley, but the greens, I think I got this from my mom and she doesn't shop at Alley, so she would have had to have gotten that somewhere that she would have gotten some neat trims. I haven't ever seen this in a store, so I maybe just don't know where to look. But so I just um, kind of wrapped that around a couple times, put it behind the flower, but I struggled because I wasn't sure what size pop dots to use on the flower because I knew I would need a little bit more room at the top so that I would have space to put the fishing wire with the beads. So that took a little bit of, um, a little bit of playing around and as you can see it looks like I still have the bottom a little higher than the top and I'm pointing that out to you because I want you guys to know that 
if you're setting an expectation for yourself that you're going to be as good as another YouTuber or as an Instagrammer, please get rid of those expectations. Wipe them out of your head. You will enjoy your time with your craft supplies. You will enjoy creating your art much more. If you're not putting such a, uh, I don't know, such a huge amount of energy trying to be like somebody else or make something like somebody else, make it your own. Now, I'm pointing out the things that I see that I would do a little bit differently on these to show you that, yeah, they may not be perfect and I'll show you why, but it's okay. I'm still gonna use them. They still turned out cute. I used this, um, this Collect Beautiful Moments word phrase here. Now, I can't even tell if that's straight. Maybe like that I can see it's not a little straight, but it's not gonna stop me from sending this. It's not gonna make this go in the trash. I'm not gonna deconstruct it and start over. A lot of people might do that, but I think if we have such a high expectation on ourselves that everything that we do isn't as good, quote unquote, or or we're, we're expecting it to turn out perfect, then I think we're, we're taking a lot of the enjoyment out of our crafting by doing that to ourselves. So if you could drop those expectations, enjoy working with what you have, and if something doesn't lay on there quite perfectly, then okay. If something is a little higher at the bottom than the top, then I'm not a professional, so I don't know that I need to do something different with the pop dot here until I've actually played around with some of this trim and and figured out the you know the actual measurement that I need there. So you can kind of see the bottom flares out, but I promise you if I wouldn't have pointed that out, you might not have ever seen it. I mean, I would have had to, you know, actually gone look, my pop dots aren't the same size. But I'm not deconstructing this. I'm not starting over. It's not going in the trash. This still turned out cute and it's still going to work for an embellishment. Now, again, I do leave the backs of mine. Whoops. I glued this together. I hope I didn't just undo it. But it was kind of flopping around and driving me crazy. And I couldn't get it pulled all the way down behind the rose. So I just glued it to the other bead. But I leave the backs of mine, you know, unaltered and un... Um, I don't know. I just don't put anything on there so that in case she wants to glue it into a book or alter it with something else, then she's free to do it like that. Um, I do think that it's important to sign your work or put a, a little, little date or I'm gonna put a little tag that I've made here that has my YouTube channel name so that she'll remember that it came from the, my YouTube and my Instagram is the same name. So um, I do think that that's important to do, but now on this one, I think that the flower is a little big for the smaller popsicle sticks, and I probably could have moved the flower up a little bit. So again, had I not pointed that out to you, it probably wouldn't have stood out as being anything that needed attention. I'm just showing you now that I'm looking at it, or after it actually got glued down, I was like, oh, I probably need to glue that up a little bit. Again, I didn't put it in the garbage. I'm not deconstructing it and starting over again. You know, it's it's fine, it'll work. It's got a word sentiment, it's got a cute ephemera piece on there, and I did embellish the rose. And then, you know, the rest she can do, like I said, she can glue, glue it down. The rest she can color in, whatever color she's working with. This one does have a little bit more teal on it, so it's got a light pink and a teal. And then um, I just think that this, this wire adds a nice, you know, interest to, for the eye and also for the piece. So here is my altered popsicle sticks. And there are imperfections on both of these, but you know what guys, here are the backs. They're perfectly fine to send like that. Don't forget to sign your work or put your, your sticker with your channel name or your Instagram name or just your name. And here are the fronts. And they, and they work out fine. It's a cute swap. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back again with another video in just a few minutes. Until then, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to find a smile on every day. And I am going to remind you, don't forget to love on your pets every chance you get. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my altered popsicle sticks, and I'll see you back very soon. All right, take care.